Today we're going to do the watercolor painting for the sky and eventually you're going to glue your winter outfit on there and we'll also add in some snow-capped mountains. But today we just have a sheet of watercolor paper and the first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and write my name and we're going to do something called a watercolor wash. And what that is, is where you cover a large area of the paper. And um, it's kind of like how the name suggests, where you get it really wet. And so you're kind of washing the paper in color. So I'm just going to get my brush wet. Ideally, you want a bigger brush than this. This is what we got on hand. And I'm just going to gently soak the paper up. using horizontal lines because that's kind of what we want. We want to have, we're going to do this sky and we're going to try to have some of that Aurora Borealis effect in there. And if you've ever looked up at the sky, even if it's a night sky, um, you'll notice that it's a darker blue near the top than near the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking some of this blue here, adding water to it of course, and just gently putting it across the top of my paper. And the paper is going to curl a little bit. So I'm going to put most of my pigment up there. Just gently using this brush, it's never really bending that much. I'm going to take some water and just bring it down. And since the paper's already wet, it's going to move down the page. Just always adding at the top and moving my way down. There's, of course, there's variations in the sky, especially if there's clouds out there, but you can bring this down. And remember, we're going to have this part down here covered with mountains, so it's okay if you don't get it completely covered. But I want to bring that color down. And then if you want to add some of those northern lights in there, you can go in and pick out a color that you think might be nice and it's nice to just do this wet on wet technique. All right. I'm actually going to dry my brush off and kind of take some of that pigment off so it leaks it makes it a little bit white underneath just almost like a sponge and if that's not getting the effect that you want just very gently dab at it with a paper towel these are not the most absorbent paper towels but they will take up some of the water and the pigment now I'm not going to leave it like that I do want to go in and kind of soften that up with just a little bit of water. That's going to give us that northern light look. Now yours doesn't have to be Aurora Borealis. You could do something that's just kind of like a stormy sky. So I'm kind of leaving this down here as almost like I, I've just suggested that there's a snowy landscape there. Slight horizon line. Now that got way too dark too fast. So what I'm going to do is just take that, move that over, and just 
and dab at it with this paper towel. I'm not scrubbing, I'm just dabbing at it. Alright, we'll come in and add some mountains in there later.